Good afternoon, listeners, and welcome from the Compare the Build Stadium at the Land for this afternoon's National League North fixture between Tamworth and Blythe Spartans. This broadcast will be brought to you, as always, by your very own Lambs Media team, who are in proud association with Tamworth FC Team Builder and the fantastic work that they do. I'm Kev Clark, and alongside me, Stu Bywater. Good afternoon, everyone in Mixerland and TikTok land, hoping this afternoon for a, a turnaround in form, really, Kev. Yes, we're still top of the table, but recent form hasn't been the best, and with a, and a lack of goals, um, really, that we, we need to address and uh, hopefully change this afternoon against uh, Fly of Spartans that are not really in the best of form either. I think they're no. possibly in worse form than us. Um, yeah, so, so, so yeah, slightly worse. Yeah, yeah slightly. One, no winning seven for Blythe. There we are. We are underway here at the Comparable Stadium at the Lamb. In the box, nobody near him. And it comes from Jordan towards the near side of the box. He's bounced over a couple into the near post. Volleyed by Chris Ray just over the bar. But how that ball was allowed to bounce all the way through to Chris Raker was, was criminal defending, really, from he, Blythe. He, he, was, he bounced twice, didn't he? It? Did bounce um, twice. We'll now take that kick. Goes fast, stick then. Heads go up, two time with bodies there. Headed back across towards Dolman, not cleared. Milnes, low rasper, pinging around the six yard box. Chris Ray can't get a toe on it, and it's cleared messily by Blythe Spartans who are right under the cosh. Back it comes in, Sundir and Greedy! It's in the back of the Spartans' net already! Two minutes barely on the clock. Dan Creedy's header at the far post. Spartans just could not. Get out, Stu! Tamworth do lead this game. One goal to nil for a Dan Creaney back post header after two minutes. Creaney, lovely little layoff in field two. Skipper Milnes, he's got Curly outside him. Neat little push out to Curly. Corner edge of the, six of the angle of the 18-yard box. Set for some dearest cross. Low shot, it's two! It's Chris Ray on the scoop. Line on the floor almost from nine yards out. It's two nil to Tamworth with six minutes on the clock and it couldn't get any better of a start Stu. Understatement in fairness <laughs> for that one. Yeah. Oh well done Manashi Sundiri. He's wrestled the ball back in the centre circle. He's turned the tables on blow. Chris Ray with a <laughs> belter. Absolute wildy. What a fantastic strike from Chris Ray. Well pick the bones out of that one Stu. Well it was all actually it was Manashi Sundiri who won the ball back tenaciously in midfield rolled it through to Chris Ray. He found that he got some space and just unleashed a thunderbolt into the back of the net. I was taken and short. Hooked forward down that left channel. Powerful header by Willits. Meat and drink really to Jamie Willits. He'll win those all day long. Forced back into the Blythe half. Forward it goes then to Sazeba. Devadix. Little overlapping run now for Blythe. Ball across the area behind everyone initially. And it is in the back of the Tamworth net. And actually a really well worked goal for Blythe Spartans. And Tamworth's defensive record, which is so brilliant, has been dented slightly. And that's chipped out wide from Mitchell. Exploiting a little bit of space now as Tamworth did press a lot of bodies forward there. Down in front of the clubhouse now. Ball into the Tamworth area. Prodded across field. Easy for Jazz Singh. And I don't know whether that trade-off with that performance, you know, we in theory should have enough players back to stop crosses coming in. But that's where the goals come from today, which is something we're normally very good at stopping. Well, that's a wayward one across field. I just looked, peered round the spectator in front of me to see who the ball, cross field ball was from Blythe there, but it was nobody. Yeah. <laughs> it's had a play for a throw into Tamworth. No, I get what you're saying there, Stu. Yeah, totally. Right, now let's have a little... Stop and check for a moment. We're three goals to, to one to the good here. Scunthorpe may well get a point. But as it stands, it's two more points gained by Tamworth. And the gap would be 12 points. Chipped by Ben Mills. Tries to catch Mitchell off his line. Well, that would have been something else, wouldn't it? It was only a couple of feet wide of Mitchell's right-hand post. And it had him clawing at thin air there. It was... Um, Measured brilliantly by Ben Milnes from it, about 30 yards right of centre, uh, but it was just slightly wide. Swinging. Is this a fourth goal in the offing for Tamworth then? It's out swinging this corner, Kevin. Sorry, beg your pardon, yeah. Just so you know. Out, out swinging. swinging. 
from Milnes towards the far corner. Volley towards goal by Dolman. <laughs> and it's out for a corner on the far side. So close from Bully Dolman. In it comes from Milnes. Oh, Sundira, I think no. Deacon on the end of it. Can't quite direct it goalward. Smashed away by Blythe. Back it comes. There's more goals in this. You just feel it. You can. Well and truly there is. But then the header that Jazz had to save, which the Bly fans thought might have been over the line. But, you know, two chances in the entire half, really, as it stands. And I think from that point of view, Tamworth have managed it brilliantly. But equally, created a couple of chances of their own as well. Well, we're into time added on now. Sundiri with a slide tackle. Kai Williams going over halfway now. He's ball in field to Creaney. Creaney on the turn. In for forward now to Ty Deacon. Shot saved by Mitchell. 83 minutes played there, according to flash scores, anyway. Well, with 10 men, that's, that's some going, to be fair, to Scunthorpe. But there is the final whistle, and what really matters here is it is a win for Tamworth this afternoon.